so what do you see here you'll be surprised to know that these two images are of the same pyramid yes what happened was this pyramid is the result of weathering over the years on this initial pyramid so what do we call this we call this a result of physical or mechanical weathering right so you see the physical appearance of the pyramid has completely changed there is a change in the physical appearance while there is no change in the chemical composition right it remains as it is just the look changes so today in this video we'll be learning about the second type of weathering and that is mechanical or physical weathering so as in the last video we already learned that the rocks tend to expand during daytime and contract during nighttime so this continuous contraction and expansion leads to the breaking up of the rock or disintegration of the rock right so eventually they break into smaller pieces and then mixes up or become a part of the top soil so this phenomena takes place on the basis of the thermal expansion and contraction of the rocks right due to change in temperature so you must have noticed these cracks in rocks or if you have gone for hiking or a mountain tour you must have seen rocks like this it is all a result of physical weathering now this physical weathering again can take place in many ways right so you know that the expansion and contraction of the rocks tends to break the rock into smaller pieces it sometimes happens so that the rocks tend to break along their joints and they break into blocks therefore this has a special name since the disintegration is happening along the joints and leading the rock to break into blocks it is called block disintegration therefore for definition we see the splitting of rocks along the joints into blocks is called block disintegration now in the last video as well as in the last slide we have been talking about disintegration of rocks right along with breaking up of rocks so what exactly do we mean by disintegration well disintegration takes place without any change in the chemical constituents of rock therefore it is the breaking up of rocks but without any change in the chemical composition of the rocks secondly factors that lead to disintegration could be temperature moisture frost action wind and many other such agents lastly it is more rapid in desert climates why so as we have just learned that due to thermal expansion and contraction the rocks tend to break or physical weathering takes place right so in places with extreme temperatures so either during daytime the temperatures are very high or very low and during the night time the vice versa so these extreme temperature differences leads to weathering of rocks so not all rocks have similar kind of minerals right it might happen that in one rock there are different types of minerals present and due to their difference in chemical composition their rate of expansion and contraction may also differ so for example a rock with mineral a and b is going through weathering right so due to the change in temperature and due to expansion and contraction being different for both these minerals it leads to granular disintegration of the rocks so the rock tend to break at different places at different period of time so to define granular disintegration we might say that when the agents of weathering reduce the rocks made up of different minerals into smaller pieces and fragments we call it granular disintegration 
you must have come across onions right we see it almost every day so what do you know about onions we know that onions are made up of different layers so sometimes what happens is as you can see here the rocks also tend to peel off layer by layer right one after another just like an onion so this is also known as onion weathering it is a part or a type of physical weathering so how does it happen well you can see that the rock with a uniform mass throughout goes through expansion during daytime and contraction during night so the upper layers get most affected and it tends to break off exposing the inner layers to the agents of weathering right so the peeling off of the upper layers or the top layers of the rock one after another due to weathering is called exfoliation or onion weathering right so exfoliation results in the removal of the top layers of the rock making the rock smaller and smaller also exfoliation domes are formed in the exfoliation process as you can see here right so can you help me answer this question which feature is formed due to exfoliation process is it mountains exfoliation domes caves or valleys yes the answer is exfoliation domes in cold regions after precipitation like rainfall the water tends to seep in the cracks of the rocks during night time this water freezes to become ice it expands and put pressure on the rocks during day time again it thaws and further seeps into the cracks this continuous expansion and contraction leads to putting immense pressure on the rock thus leading to breaking up of the rock from the parent rock therefore this results in physical weathering again and it is known as frost action right we finally can say that the change in the physical appearance of rocks or any such monument that goes under or goes through weathering is called physical weathering and there is no change in the chemical composition of these rocks right so today in this video we learnt about mechanical or physical weathering and we also learnt how different agents differently affects weathering on different rocks we learnt about block disintegration granular disintegration exfoliation and then frost action in the next video we learn about another type of weathering and that is chemical weathering don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now